What's up everybody, Frank Valkyrie, welcome to the channel. How you guys doing, huh? Let me know, it's another day, it's important if you're doing well. So let's go together and check this out. We gotta talk about stuff. Those people never rest, so we gotta look into it. You know what it's happening in the JDH realm so far as this Bowsy guy going after that umbrella guy, Nate the lawyer. Taylor Lorenz writing a hit piece on that umbrella guy. Uh, we're going to talk about all of those things. And also the real Laura B posting a new video on her YouTube about the lawsuit with, um, uh, the, what is it called? The insurance company right there. Eh? So you should check that out as well. So let's start from one thing to the next. So you know that C. Bowsey, which is supposedly, allegedly, was hired by AH to uh, run a campaign against JD fans already back in 2021. And he's still doing that, thanks to both Sentinels, trying to report people on, on Twitter here and accounts, trying to silence them, uh, bringing into the mix the usual accusation. And he went hard with accusations on Nate the cashier, bot killer, also known as NATO lawyer, uh, accusing Nate actually of not even being a lawyer and also, let's say, making questionable comments about his life, his past life and his parents, which unfortunately seem to be uh, people with addictions. So he made fun of that, even going to the extent of uh, questioning whether or not he was a real lawyer because he was black. So, ooh. Uh, anyway, yes, those are all things you can check for yourself. And uh, now, um, Nate, that brings checks, you know, receipts to the table, um, is looking into, with the authorities, uh, into the bankruptcy uh, files of fraud. We have read that uh, C. Bowsey was involved with this black coin, which is a, a crypto card which was supposed to come out many years ago. I explained this in another video, uh, and then he left. He seems as he has left uh, um, a bot sentinel as well, from what I understand here. We have discovered that Bowsy left out both bot sentinels Inc. and uh, Comcore Corporation from his bankruptcy filing. So we are also looking into Blackcoin, Ajiska Corp, and Inside Concept. So um, he's bringing basically Bowsy to the courtroom, and uh, of course he can, he knows how to do this. And I have to admit, like, this is what you get when you also start to fabricate evidence. And it seems like those people working in the, you know, this PR campaign for AH and the supporters, they really love that. They really love misinterpreting the facts. Um, and that's why we're here. I've said this I don't know how many times. This is part of the hit piece that that Umbrella guy has posted on his tweet here. Uh, and you can really see, like, what a vague article, what a bad article. And we're going to go on about this in a second. You really get the sense of how gaslighting uh, it is. You know, this text, the combination of associations in between one phrase and the next in order for the audience to get confused and put in the same ballpark uh, that umbrella guy with, uh, with fake news or misogyny, misinformation, and so on and so forth. Um, I'll just read this part here. Um, that umbrella guy has grown his following to more than 400,000 subscribers. Congratulations, by the way. Uh, largely by posting anti Amber Heard content. Dapp's lawyer said he's been in communication with several YouTubers, including Lewis. YouTube channel like that umbrella guy are not an exception to the rule. They are the rule, say. Chi Bowsy, founder and CEO of Bot Sentinel, a research firm specializing in disinformation. Wow. YouTube is telling women it's okay for men to publish a monetized video insulting and demeaning women. That Umbrella Guy YouTube uh, videos have received hun over 116 million views and YouTube has refused to take action. Wow. There is so much wrong about everything you just read right there. First of all... Um, that umbrella guy is not doing content which is anti-amber. He's doing content that counters misinformation about the trial. He's presenting facts, 
paper commentary about those things. There is a huge difference. It's not that it's just hating on this person. Obviously, when people like C. Bowsey, uh, Eve Barlow, Taylor Lorenz, and uh, Tam Bur Tam Burge, uh, Kate Tamburge, and all those other people from the AH team, which they tried to go after him as much as trying to dox him. As you see here, how Taylor Lorenz refers to him with this name, attaching his name with, you know, uh, misinformation that YouTube is doing nothing about it because he's doing anti hamber videos and so on and so forth. Very, very nasty techniques, you know, to defame somebody. And um, that's why we make those videos. Actually, she probably should get a lawsuit for trying to defame this guy, that umbrella guy, honestly. So, uh, Lewis did not respond directly to a request for comment. He later published a video saying that in years past he had not exclusively post Amber Heard related content, but that he had published content about comics in a tweet after blah, 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 blah. So, again, first of all, they are, uh, by saying that you know, C. Uh, Bowsey is like uh, part of Bolt Sentinel, which is a research specialized research firm specialized in disinformation. When in fact, C. Uh, Bowsey went after Nate the lawyers, going after that umbrella guy, trying to dox them. You know, trying to see if they could find like private information to share with the audience, and that's what they did also with that umbrella guy, and that's why they are referring him with this name. Maybe the guy wanted to stay anonymous, but uh, that's what they're doing by spreading this. And then by default, uh, tr trying to drag YouTube into the mix here, saying like, ah, oh, you see, YouTube is doing nothing about this misinformation, assuming by default that the video which that umbrella guy and other makes are bad. They're not. And YouTube also checking another YouTuber page that posts content that it's more like, uh, let's say, gossip related also uh, stated that it does not infringe on the policy of the company. So take that, uh, C. Bowsey and all the team. But the thing that I find most disturbing is the fact that they are salty about that umbrella guy and other YouTuber making views, but they also conveniently kept out that the majority of the audience of that umbrella guy, like 60% or so, are women. And so is mine almost exactly 60% of my audience is also women. You want to see that. And uh, this is not about misogyny. I don't know what to say. They always throw in misogyny as if we hate women. We just don't like what Amber H did to Johnny Depp because we know what happened. And if it wasn't because we saw the trial, those liars will have a chance to flourish. And they're still trying. What a bad piece. And it's published probably, what is it? It's published in the Washington Post, the same magazine that published the OPAD, right? So just for the sake of relief, here you have Ben Cho, um, I think it was an interview discussing something else. And you see in the back, he has a pictures of him and Johnny Depp hugging from the trial after he did the final speech in front of the jury that he got moved uh, so you, you see the guy is pretty legit, very nice guy. So we like Ben Cho. So Nate, it's uh, dragging Bowsey to court most likely it seems. And that's going to be interesting. We'll, we'll see if he has a still a loud voice Bowsey after this. Uh, congratulations on Nate. And uh, he's going to do a crowdfund and we'll, we'll try to chime in when that happens. Because I think it's a good cause. Uh, another thing that I noticed, I, I wish I could just find that again. Oh my God, here we go. Sorry, we, we're going to close this here. This is part of the documentary, right? And um, I don't care if mostly of these documentaries on the side of JD, but for me, this alone, it's enough just to boycott this, boycott this thing. Because here, episode one, um, season one, episode two, Against Amber's wishes, Johnny's lawyers persuaded the judge to allow Cameron into the courthouse. This is so wrong. This is a lie. This is just an utter lie. We know that there are documents that were released by the courts of Virginia. I remember that extremely well. 
we might have also reacted this on the channel, where the judge Ascarata decided that she wanted to have cameras inside the courtroom to relief the whole system of perhaps overwhelming amount of people coming in. So that's why. Uh, JD accepted this, they were okay with it, and AH Camp was not. And I wonder why. They just didn't want the word to see when the, you know, the examination, cross-examination would have taken place. Because we have seen the difference of that woman when she was on the stand knowing that nobody was going to see it, right? In the 2016, uh, whatever that was. And the difference we saw when the, the, the cameras were on. Uh, so this is a false statement. This is wrong. Johnny uh, did not do nothing against Amber's wishes. They just didn't want the camera in, but it was Judge Escarate which asked for it and, uh, and she got it. That's it. Has nothing to do with Johnny Depp wishes or Amber H wishes. That's how it went down. This statement is false, uh, assuming like immediately trying, you know, to depict Amber H as a victim here, you know? This is totally appalling and wrong. So to me, this is already a reason just to scrap this thing from the start because you cannot lie so blatantly like this when there are actually papers available for the public to read on this very instance. It's not true what you're saying. So guys, we'll, we'll leave it at this. This article, again, a Taylor Lorenz, absolutely vague article, absolutely asinine. They're just trying, you know, like creators say that Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp defamation trial was a pivotal moment in Don Liner at landscape emboldening misogynistic YouTubers and allowing them to collectively amass millions of followers Depp won his lawsuit against her. Creators say the trial and the verdict normalize a level of it that has become commonplace on the platform. I was getting called Amber H a lot during the trial, said Rios. I had people tell me they wish it's constant. I'm always adding new filters to my comments because that's the only thing I can do. All of a sudden they throw in whatever somebody that says something and all of a sudden we have to believe the previous statement of oh the trial of jd normalized the level of misogyny such a bunch of bs again our audience mostly it's made of women which are watching this thing and women recognize bs from a mile away and there is no misogyny here because we don't hate women i don't hate women I know that probably most of the other YouTubers don't either. We just don't like lies. We just don't like that specific person because of the lies. And this, this is also part of why we don't like this. Because those are lies. This is, this is gaslighting, manipulation that keeps going on and on and on. Relentless. They're still trying to change the story. They're still trying to make it like men against women. That's not. We ate on no one. I ate on no one. But it's just unsufferable to see this level of actually harassment in the other way. As if like once you have a whatever ideology you have to be part of to be, you know, part of the Me Too movement. Somehow you cannot recognize that a man can be actually a survivor. That's it. Because of your ideology, you have to believe women by default and you have to stand by them. Doesn't matter if they're actually being with a criminal kind of attitude or they actually they are kind of criminal. So I don't understand that. This is not misogyny. This is standing on the right side of things. Amber Ridge seems to be the villain in this story. And there is plenty of evidence that people had access to to make up their mind. And that's what it is. And those people like Taylor Lorenz are still leveraging the power of big media to try to change that and confuse the audience with the hope that their whatever higher morality ground, you know, will prevail. When in fact, to me, it seems just that this is a crusade against men because somehow those women, they just hate men. And 
they have bought into the idea that I'm pretty sure there's a lot of bad guys out there, especially at the top. But we are many. We are freaking billions of guys. And we have nothing to do with that patriarchy that perhaps probably also men suffer from because we are on the receiving end of it as well, of those few people in power and in control. So these crusades against men, I really don't understand it. If you have to do a crusade, do a crusade for the truth, you know, for men and women without trying to stand on the side of something that it's just an illusion. So guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Please consider subscribing. Spread love. I'll talk to you later. Ciao.